35192 if you want to send me a text. You can always, if you listen to the show live on iHeartRadio, on the app, you can always use the talkback button there, too. There's like a little red button that looks like a microphone, and you can leave us a quick message there. I always check those. Uh, That's how I heard from Brian. He's a listener out in Yuma, Arizona. I don't think he's the only one we have in Yuma. We have a couple of people there. Um, But he checked in on the talkback button there on the iHeartRadio app. Uh, Brody is a new listener as well. He listens out in Oak Harbor, Washington. He just found the show uh, on iHeartRadio. Matt's a new listener in D.C. Uh, John is our bureau chief in Jeffersonville, Indiana. Tanya listens in Louisville. Bryce is in Sarasota. And uh, Trevor is in Greensburg, PA. Not far from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Uh, Cavaliers will play tomorrow night. They are hoping to keep their... Preseason, dra- postseason, dreams alive. Uh, they'll play the um, Nets in Brooklyn tomorrow night. Uh, whoever wins that uh, plays the Celtics next week, number two seed. And whoever loses will play Friday. Uh, whoever wins the Hawks Hornets game. So. Cavs are trying to hang on. We're doing a power hour tomorrow because the Guardians game will air here on MMS as we are your FM flagship. So 410 is first pitch in Cincinnati against the Reds. So we'll roll out for the pregame around 3.30. So short show tomorrow. So the Minnesota Timberwolves are officially the NBA's highest scoring team for this season. First time in franchise history that the Timberwolves, that's Kevin Love's old stomping grounds. Yeah. Uh, have done his career. <clears throat> the Houston Rockets, dead last with uh, 20 wins. That's your brother-in-law, right? Yeah. He has work cut out for him. Well, he just has to design stuff, so he's not in charge of them winning or losing. He's just got to make them look good. No, I know that, yeah. but I didn't know if he had a part in like having to deal with... like. Um, Social promo or anything like that. He just does the. He's design. just doing the graphic he's, design. He's the, he's the head of the art department. Yeah. So good. Good. So um, anyway, uh, Cavs uh, playing tomorrow night uh, here on MMS after the Guardians game. Guardians are up big right now. <laughs> what are they looking at now? Uh, I think they're up. Oh, I just had it up. Uh, Nine, nine to, to four? Nine, nine to five. five. All right. What a way to make a living. In the top of the night. I've got, uh, <laughs> if you want to <laughs> drop us a <laughs> message on the after hours line, 216 986 Gesundheit. 8903. Alan, Caleb, and Kat listen to the podcast from Friday. Uh, you guys were talking about these special food buttons on the microwave. Uh, and Bill referenced uh, the potato button when he's in a rush. Uh, I would just like a little bit of follow up there of what scenario you're in where you're like, God damn it, I'm up against it, but I'm aching for this baked potato. Uh, love you, bye. Well, I mean, uh, boy, that is okay. a good uh, follow up question there. I like a potato when I'm in a rush. Well, I like it. I'm saying, like, a baked potato, I prefer to cook it in the oven, yeah. put some butter on the skin. But that takes 45, 50 minutes. If you're pressed for time, yeah, yeah you can get the same time, results. Yeah. You can bake a potato in eight in minutes. Eight minutes, and then you have a pretty good. <laughs> oh, does it take food. that long in a microwave? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Eight it's, minutes? It's still a while. For the potatoes oh. I get, I get the big ones. Yeah, yeah. jacket. When I, had a I go, good baked bake potato and a steak yesterday. Oh, when I first moved out on my own, I was in my divorce apartment, and when I found out you could microwave a baked potato, they were like individually wrapped ones that are like, hey, just pop this in the microwave. It's in a saran wrap. Right. That's all I ate for like two straight weeks, because I was like, dude, baked potatoes every night. Like, I didn't They're know so good. <laughs> they so like are. Yeah. But I just didn't realize it was something that could be less labor intensive. You had a steak and a potato, you said. For mm-hmm. dinner yesterday. Yeah. yeah, I wonder why that, like, I don't like having a protein and a starch together. I don't like a baked potato and a steak. Of course, it's, it's not, it, it's yeah. it causes it joy, good. and you're like, Burr. Well, no, it wouldn't cause joy for me. Like, I, right, because. That seems like a, that seems like a recipe for bad superpower. digestion. But doesn't that but doesn't that make you all gurgly later no, on? I don't, I, it was fine. It was okay. It was a good steak, good potato. I didn't eat all the potato because it was gigantic. Did you go somewhere? Or did no, you I just made it at home? Oh, you made it at yeah. home on a foreman grill? No, just a 
Just grilled it in a pan. <laughs> oh, okay. It, I guess. All right. And uh, then watched uh, the ultimatum all night. Right. Good time. The old tomato. The mm. old tomato. <laughs> Okay, were you watching Tina Turner videos in there yes. before? In the break, yeah. Boy, she's in there watching Tina Turner videos. <laughs> so He's done with the... watching the Vice stuff with the skin mask. How do you, do you just go down a rabbit hole of suggested videos? Um, or do you go, I want to watch a Tina, Tina Turner, Turner video. A mixture of both. Depends on today. T- today was in my queue. Depends cube. on today. <laughs> I mean, it dep- <laughs> depends, on today. depends depends on the day. <laughs> depends on the day. What's today gonna bring? <laughs> depends on the day. It was already in my queue because I had previously watched a Tina Turner video, mm. um, and then it was just like, oh, what's love got to do with it for the nineteenth time? Yeah, sign me up for it. Hmm. <laughs> so you like that one a lot? You watch it frequently? As of recently. <laughs> As of recently? Well, as of recently, it depends on today. It depends on today. As of recently. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Sure, it's not that hard to be the one that's informed on the show. Uh, <laughs> in the break, he's watching Tina Turner videos, and I don't know what Mary's doing. She's usually pooping. As of recently, yeah. she's been pooping in front of her whole family. Yeah. Yeah. And I just happen to be, you know, uploading video while also checking to see if there's any breaking stories on... What is it about the Tina Turner video that is so compelling to you that it bears multiple viewings, repeated viewings? I like her voice, and also I love the fact that she is... She's in her 40s or 50s in that What's Love Got to Do With It video. Mm-hmm. And she's like strutting around. Like, she's, I mean, she was hot stuff, but the fact that she was getting, she's like, let me show these young hussies how you do it. <laughs> like, that's just the vibe I get from her. She's like, I'm going to strap on this wig and my high heels, and I've got everything I need. I'm about to just kick it with these young bucks. Hmm. <laughs> young bucks. I mean, in the video, it's just, I mean, you could tell how old the video was because it has the World Trade Center in it. But like, the guys that are supposed to be like these hot, tough guys, they look exactly how you would think they look. Like they have the vest with like no shirt underneath <laughs> and like the gold chain. I'm like, oh, those are the tough guys in the video. And she's saying, ugh, get away from me. You're no hmm. good. Men. You've really zapruitered this video over the m- numerous times you've watched it. That's why I like it because I'm like, Tina Turner, she just, she, her voice and her talent spoke for herself. It spoke for itself. The video is just. <laughs> Literally just that, just a video. It doesn't mean much. Hmm. It's still Tina Turner. Um, yeah, okay. She had a song when I was a kid for Christmas one year because I was a big fan of Miami Vice. I love that show. And they dropped a Miami Vice soundtrack, and I got it on cassette. And it had Phil Collins, and it had uh, like Jam Master J, and it had a Tina Turner song on there called You Better Be Good to Me. And mm-hmm. I don't know if that was on one of her albums, but I heard it uh, from that Miami Vice soundtrack because he had used it in some episode. And boy, did I love that song. I thought that was a great goddamn song because there was an extended version of it, too. She did this big, long breakdown in the middle of this song. How did it where go? It's just... <clears throat> like that? How'd the breakdown go? Sing it. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to sing along. I, yeah, I'm not going <laughs> to sing along. <laughs> Certainly not going <laughs> to attempt <laughs> Tina Turner, mm-hmm. Anime heard... Bullock. I've heard Better Be Good to Me, but I don't know if I heard the extended breakdown. Oh, man. You're missing out, Code? Yeah, you really are. I know are. Simply the Best. Like, well, like... everybody knows that. I mean, that's... Shit's Creek made that mm-hmm. uh, popular again. Sobbing my eyes out. From, uh... Let's get her going here. Ooh. Should I be fractured? Oh! Like Should I? Mm. Should I? Tina Turner. Yeah, you're right. She was, like, my age back then, right? Should I? <laughs> Very impressive second act. Yeah, seriously. Those wigs. Breakdown. I don't know if that's in here. Watch your plan. Yeah, there we go. Ha ha! Watch your plan. What I can't feel, I surely cannot see. What can't you be? To me. And if it's not real, I do not wish to see. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
do not wish to see. Why can't you be? Oh, yeah. Go to me. Oh, here it is. Yeah. Why can't yeah. you be? Go to me. Why can't you be? Oh, man, it's good. I wish they would have made that Miami Vice movie that Michael Mann directed. Yeah. I wish that would have been taking place in the 80s. Why? I just think it would have been more true to the show. That's, oh. That's like when... I like that they updated it. I think it would have been better if it was the 80s. Colin Farrell. I mean, didn't yeah. he kind of have a mullet in that movie anyway? Was, but like Jamie Foxx and <laughs> Colin Farrell. But like it just was... I mean, it was still an okay movie. Yeah. And Michael Mann is great. He's got that new show, Tokyo... Tokyo Vice. I'm watching yes, it. Uh, yeah. Tokyo it's, Drift, all, it's all subtitled. Tokyo Drift Vice. Yeah. <laughs> I really, I think that, that that Colin Farrell Miami Vice is a very underrated movie. I think so, too. I think it's a great but movie. But I think I would have liked it to have just taken place in the 80s and been like still the same level of grit and darkness that it had, but just make it an 80s movie. Would you have liked it set in the early 80s, which is basically just the post-70s? No, I'm talking like... Or would you... Like, like early 80s were still like kind of disco? No, like when Miami Vice was on. Like the mid-80s. Mid-80s. Because I wanted that kind of fashion to be in the movie. Yeah. Because that, that's what I'm nostalgic for when it comes to Miami Vice. Yeah. You know, Bill, he watches movies for the fashion, Alan. Well, Miami well, Vice, though, nostalgia. it was very front and yeah. center with Miami Vice. And it was funny, too, because I can't imagine anybody... I bet real cops were conflicted about Miami Vice. Because on the one side, they're like... Man, this is a fun show to see this all kind of decked out. On the other hand, they're like, we don't have these resources. <laughs> there are no detectives driving Ferraris yeah. and yeah, in thousand dollar suits. Well, the reason that they got to drive the Ferrari is because it was impounded. They had to play the part, and they had to play the part. They had yeah. to look they like they were players in the cocaine boom. Undercover. Yep. Undercover. Yeah. I don't know if Miami Vice streams anywhere. The television show. I'm being told it's on Peacock. Well, there you go. So, uh, Does yeah. anybody have Peacock? Like, I do. Yeah. Craig Robinson's got a new show on Peacock. I feel like Peacock is like the redheaded stepchild of the streaming services. Well, it is so far. Yeah, I, I, they not, have a lot of, I think they have a handful of funny original shows, but I don't think anybody's paying attention to Peacock. Which one is like the least watched? Because I feel like Apple TV, no one, I mean, people have it because they have that, Apple. I think Apple TV is probably I don't have Apple lower. TV. Yeah. yeah, they don't know when, there's like no marquee shows on Apple TV. Oh, yeah, there Ted are Lasso, severances. Wasn't that? They just yeah, Ted Lasso. Yeah. yeah, Severance just finished. That's an amazing <laughs> yeah. show. I'm watching a show called Slow Horses. My wife will walk in and she'll go, What are you watching? And I go, You're going to hate it. Because recently I've been watching like slow British spy shows, which, and, you know. Mm hmm. That it's movie, not exciting. For, it's a Gary Oldman thing on Apple TV. And it's, it's about equine that are not good so at math. N number one most streamed would probably be what Netflix, then yes. probably Hulu. Yeah, probably Quibi. Yeah, mostly Quibi. Uh, I didn't even I didn't even consider that. But Tubi. Then, Quibi's gone, but Disney Plus after that. Disney Plus is up there. HBO Max is doing really well, I think. Uh, just That's cause, how we well because HBO Max gave so many people subscriptions that already had HBO through their TV subscribers, so. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. So they got a lot of people, a lot of eyes on that. Uh, but I watch, I use Peacock. My mom is like lurching off my, leeching off my uh, Peacock account because there's some like, <coughs> old timey show she likes on there. So she watches it too. And I, did you watch uh, SNL this week? It was awful. That, really? Awful. I thought there were some really funny sketches. It was real. I usually like that really absurd non sequitur stuff. It was an entire episode made out of five to one a.m. sketches, and I was like, "Boy, this feels thrown together." I, I like really, Jake Gyllenhaal. He's always good to. Yeah, he hasn't been on there. And he sang 15. a lot. I yeah. feel like every sketch was a singing sketch. I really liked the "Why'd You Like It" Instagram. That was funny. <laughs> that was a great game show. It's uh, basically three contestants, and they go. So why'd you like this picture? And it's like, <laughs> basically, it all comes down to, I want to have sex with that person. <laughs> I thought that they would see me and then DM me and yeah. we'd end up having sex. Well, according to the least, the data, the least popular streaming service in number of subscribers is Apple TV. I knew it. They only have 10 million subscribers. Only. <laughs> well, but I mean, Netflix has Billions. hundreds of millions. 203.7 million. No, billion. 
It has 203.7 <laughs> billion people. And that's why for people who think that like Netflix, everyone has Netflix, you got to remind yourself no. There are billions of people, yeah. and only a fraction of them have Netflix. <laughs> that's well, there's, that's but so that's how many passwords. <laughs> Listen, there's 200 million people subscribing to Netflix, and a billion people watching it because yeah. that's how many people are sharing passwords. You and think stuff. so? Oh, yeah. I thought they were getting rid of that though. They they always try. I got five people on my account, so I don't. Yeah, I got my brother. I mean. My brother has an account, and we're on his. We <laughs> logged into Bill's HBO Max on vacation. Oh, <laughs> I know, I see Did you really? <laughs> yeah. It was the only because I wanted to Such watch it, yeah. and I like we had Googled like where is it streaming? And it was HBO, HBO Max. I was like, I know Bill has like a hundred people on his, but let's try. <laughs> It's fine. You can it. like you have it. Or then yeah. Just you know. And then I had to use it. Up. I had to use it when, on when my phone. When he gets that inheritance, he's paying me back. <laughs> yeah, you're sixty bucks for mm. Yeah, and then I had to stream it it too on my phone on the flight home. Hmm. Also on Bill's HBO Max. I was like, it's gonna kick us off at some point because it's no, logged into like it's... nine accounts. It's logged in at that I, vacation I house, that... our real house. Well, because I know that Hulu will kick people off of based on geolocation. Like my son, we don't have a bunch of people on our services. I have my son on Hulu. But from time to time, he'll be like, hey, I just got kicked off Hulu. So if they can figure it out, I don't right. know why these other services can't figure it out. You know, like the, the version of uh, Tombstone where Doc Holliday was extra sick? <laughs> well, I mean, I, blood on I knew that was going to be bodily fluids. Yeah. And so I was like pre-laughing when, yeah. they, you know, that just was setting good. up the coughs and the spitting. Yes. And, yeah, I enjoyed that one. And the, the B one was silly. I don't know. I thought it was. A, yeah, I don't know. We just got to I the watched, end. And we were like, oh, I don't even think I finished it. Literally. I watched it like three in the morning, too. So I was probably in like a silly mood. You know, Pound Cake, uh, Peacock is the one that's got that gritty Fresh Prince reboot. Oh, is that any good? That, I've seen, oh, I don't know. I've seen uh, advertising for it. Don't care about that. I'm waiting for them to come out with Queer as Folk. I want to see if they do it justice because I'm, I'm afraid I'm not going to like it. I'm just afraid. <laughs> Why? You're afraid. I feel like one of those He's guys now. Yeah, fear. Yeah, well, <laughs> fear. I, there's already a remake. It, it, there's a, a well, a reboot. There's a reboot of the original series because the original series starred the guy from Sons of Anarchy in it, and that was it. Took place in England. And my buddy Hal Sparks was in Queer. Queers mm-hmm. He was in the in the American version. <laughs> Oh, Charlie Hunnam was in the the OG Queers Folk. Yeah, the English version. I see. And so they made an American adaptation. They had to change a few things because American in, what adaptation? Okay. Because in the English version, the guy was sleeping with a 15-year-old at 30. Yeah! And then they changed it to 17. They made it a little better. He's like, I'm about to turn 18. Okay, so you just live. Big in Tennessee. (laughs) Um, Yeah. (laughs) So now this one is taking place in New Orleans. Pound Cake did call Mary a leech, by the way. All the time. After he admitted he's on his brother's account. So just... Just, yeah, I'm the leech. FYI, Mary is the leech. I, I kid. I was actually surprised he didn't say something negative about my somewhat tan. I was waiting for it. I was no. like, I have a little bit of color on my face, and I was waiting for me to say something, and Cody be like, oh, you get a little bit of sun, you do so much tan, bitch, you think you can say something? <laughs> I'm, I'm happy. Pasty white bitch. Right. <laughs> I'm happy she can tan if she doesn't Shut turn red. Shut your ass up. Yeah. The white people I know, they turn red. I'm like, oh, you got some sun. Well, if you do it, if you're not... Out in the sun with no sunblock or whatever, but these homies be coming back from oh, vacation. Sunblock. They're tomato. trying to cancel the sun now. <laughs> I'll cancel the sun. Yeah. Watch me. And then when I got a big load, I go put it in there. Yeah. Good to know. Like when I get sunburned, my skin just completely peels. I don't get Ew. red. At, I don't get red <laughs> at all. I do have a huge penis. I'm one of those people who I'll get red and then it'll be tan the next day. Mm. I have olive undertones. <laughs> Ooh, it feels so good. <laughs> yeah, that's me too. I, I almost never burn. Yeah. Like, I got to be out there oh, I get bare skin for 10 hours to burn. Yeah. yeah. My boyfriend was like lathering it on when we were at the Grand Canyon because you're hiking and you are fully in the sun for like 90% of the hike. And he was like, and he's got tattoos too. And I was like, don't the tattoos like stop you from burning? No, and I don't think like, so. He's no. like, it's it still skin. Yeah, it's skin. <laughs> it's not going to be. I would think you'd want to, you'd want to put that on. On your tattoos specifically yeah, because you don't want to fade, well, fade them out. His or... whole arm is all like his whole body's covered. All so the he's better. Putting it all over everything. Yep. He's like, you want some? I was like, maybe a touch on my shoulders. <laughs> like, I'll take like, okay. I like get the shoulder freckles, just a, just a couple, top of my nose, the bridge of my nose. I got a break. Uh, if you want to text for something, 35192. Listen wherever you are. You can use the talk back button on the app too if you're so inclined. Um, the iHeartRadio app. The Alan Cox Show.